Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at TechLink. And what I'll be showing today is just a quick tip on your drawings that can help speed up the productivity and reduce errors that you may have. What it's called is the datum reference. Oftentimes what will happen is on your design drawings you have a note like this one here that says top of steel is at 99 foot 3 and 3 quarters. And then any other top of steel you want to call out in relation to that, either with a positive or a negative value. So minus 2 inches or plus 3 inches depending on the elevation of that individual beam. So we can do all of that information intelligently through the model carried over onto our drawings without having to edit the part mark or manually add in text which can lead to errors. So what I'll do here is just quickly jump into a, uh, a model here. I'll just come to this plan view and zoom in on this location. You can see that these particular beams have been dropped down uh, several inches. I'll just come in and highlight these here. And then using the label tool, I can just quickly create the labels of what the top of steel is for those. So you can see the main beams here are at 14 foot 10 and a half. Then everything else here is dropped down two inches at 14 foot eight and a half. So I want to be able to display that there on my drawing. So I'll just open up this general arrangement drawing here real quick, zoom into this particular area or location, and then using just uh, some of these localized settings here real easily, I can pull out what the assembly top level is. Okay, So I can even just window select um, and modify these all at one time, or you can have this automatically set up um, through your piece marks when the drawing is created to begin with. But now if I want to get this in relation to that top of steel, 14 foot 10 and a half, what I can do is just come in here and click on the view boundary, go to the attribute, attributes 2 tab, and then here for the datum point for elevations, I can just type in any value that will act as that datum reference, where everything will be plus or minus from there. Or I can just have it run from the view plane. So once I hit modify, it just references every top of steel in relation to that datum elevation that I have referenced in there and then I have an advanced option set that if it's zero just to go ahead and ignore that don't output a zero so it'll just look like a normal part mark and then this will pull in the positive or negative value that you can tweak and customize depending on your presentation preferences there um, but just a real nice and easy way to use the data from the model carry it over onto the drawing to, to avoid any editing errors if you're going through and manually in inputting that information so appreciate your time. If you have any feedback, feel free to send that on over to us, and we'll see you again next time.